All right guys, this is it. I wanna give you a full-blown tour of our home here in Siem Reap. This has been a long time coming as most or all of you know who watch my channel. I have been trying to get back to Cambodia for a year or two now and we finally made it. So I So after a bunch of house hunting, um, you can watch that in the previous video, we kept our budget at $350 USD per month. This does not include electricity and it does not include water. The water bill is generally about three to five dollars a month and the, ele the electricity or the um, AC and all of that stuff is usually between I think 30 to 50, we have yet to receive our first bills, but that was the estimate that we got from Mr. Cho, our real estate guy. So let me take you in the proper way. All right, so this is our hallway. We are four stories up. We are in the top floor. Every floor has these tall windows in it that can be opened. And as you can see, it's quite a long way down. You can look down there. So we definitely get our exercise coming up the stairs. There's one more neighbor over here. We do have a little doorbell. So let's go ahead on in and check it out. So this is the main door here. It has a little um, keyhole that you can look out and spy on whoever's at the front door. Tonight we're having a housewarming, so I decided to give the tour while the house is clean. All right, so let's pull the camera out a little bit. This, I've decided to make my painting area because as you can see from these big windows here, there's lots of light coming in, lots of natural light. Um, it does get a little bit hot in the afternoon, so at that time I have to draw the drapes, but I found this light for $5 and just equipped it with a natural daylight bulb. This is my first commission here for a friend of mine, for his sister. So in this windowsill, you'll find our Buddha, who actually came originally from Siem Reap. He's decorated with all of our lucky blessing bracelets that fa have fallen off our wrists. And our lucky lion here, I love this guy so much. There's actually this same lion who adorns a couple bridges here in Siem Reap. So we brought these back from the States with us. And we got a couple plants. I'll share some more of those with you. But if you look out the windows here, you'll see we have a nice view. All the rooftops here are tin. So yeah, and we do actually see cats on hot tin roofs, yes, I know, cheesy, but it's cute. And all the windows in Cambodia, or most of the windows, have these bars. Um, we were trying to figure out why, um, because there's not really any large animals, at least four flights up anyway, and the only animals they get in the house are lizards, and maybe I'll share some footage of some lizards that have gotten in. So they kind of tend to climb around the walls, and it's kind of gross because they leave a little poo, you know, it's, it's not bad to clean up or anything, but you know, they live with us. This is my painting area. Blair just created this desk for me and I drew him up a little drawing of all the dimensions that I wanted. The reason this side is a little bit higher is because when I sit on my chair, um, this is always, this side is always to my right side because I'm right-handed so I grab my painting materials from the right-hand side. But because I'm tall, I like to have the computer up here. So it's right eyesight because I do a lot of referencing with photographs on my computer. So that with this height, it's then at eyesight, which I really like. So you can see all my paint supplies. I've got my brushes. I found some gloves at Unger Market, Terps, and of course all the paints. And then down here, I really love this little nook because I can just kind of house my canvases here, which I really enjoy. So that's cute. Oh, and it's also on wheels, and so it can be very easily moved around. So originally, this couch was against that wall, and it was just kind of weird because the TV, as you can see, would have been really far away. So we moved the seating area to the middle of the room to create this little kind of movie viewing nook, which we really enjoy at night. There's this weird okay table. <laughs> So that's our coffee table. Um, the apartment did come furnished mostly. Um, like I said, we built this and then Blair built himself a desk, but other than that, all the furniture was here. So we have our TV station here. The apartment did also come with the TV. We brought our Apple box with us so we can enjoy Netflix and HBO. This is a painting gifted to me by my friend Pani's little brother. 
or it might be her nephew actually, but isn't that so cute? <laughs> We went to a house party at her house and he walked up and gave that to us. I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, here's our little combio. We definitely need some mosquito repellent. And then um, I'll show you more of these, but we went to Sakura, which is the second hand recycle shop here in town. And we picked up a lot of these really cool Japanese ceramic mugs just for like pens and our toothbrushes and stuff like that. We also picked up these awesome Japanese lamps. Oh, I love these so much. This is the first one. This is the biggest one. Let me go ahead and turn this on. And it's cute. It doesn't provide like a ton of light, but it's just, it's just so cute. It's like cosmetic and it's beautiful. I don't know. Over here, Blair has laid out his amazing woodworking tools. Look at this. I just love how they're displayed. He actually found this at Sakura too. This is an actual Japanese planer. I don't even know. It's, it, it looks very, very old. He was really excited when I, I actually found that for him. We've got like literally like three or four books here. It's Hit Not Han, The Voice of the Silence, Fitness Magazine. <laughs> More tools. And then over here to the left, when you walk in the front door, is our kitchen. It's very, very spacious. You'll see we have more than enough cupboard room, so we've kind of spread out a lot of our glassware and dishes and bowls. And you know, when you come to Cambodia, one thing you've got to realize is the drinking water here isn't necessarily safe. I do believe that we run on city water, and my friend Sam said that you can filter that water, but we're still buying these. And if we bring this jug down, the landlord just refills it for a dollar. So as long as we just bring that jug down, she'll give us a full-blown jug for a dollar. So we outfitted the house with, of course, glassware. Here's more of those awesome Sakura Japanese ceramic mugs. We each got ourselves a new coffee mug. And then these are nice because um, you can reuse these. So instead of buying plastic Tupperware, even though these do have plastic on the top, these are glass and they're actually really cute. So we got ourselves plenty of Tupperware because we do like cooking at home, so. And then up here, we have more dishes from Sakura. And Sakura's really cheap, and tip, if anyone is watching this video and you're moving to Siem Reap, go to Sakura on Sunday, because we came to find out that half off day is Sunday. Unfortunately, it was after we bought all of our dishware, but what are you gonna do? And then if you go to Anchor Market on Highway 6, you can actually find products like liquid aminos, and. Star Kiss Tuna, you know, all the little conventional foods that you might be missing or enjoy. So up here we have a little cubby. I don't even know if we are using this. Nope, We're not using that storage. This is our stove unit, very simple. One thing that's kind of a bummer is we don't have an oven. We could get a conventional toaster oven, but eh. Got this cute little silverware frog at Sakura as well. All of the glassware you see, we've got electric kettle, French press. Under here is just more storage for whatnot. Got this rug for 50 cents at the old market. Got this one for a dollar at the old market. And it's just kind of nice because when you're cooking, things tend to splash down. And these floors are an endless journey to keep clean. And if you're moving to Cambodia, you'll quickly understand exactly what I mean. Some people hire a house cleaner, but we don't really need that. So here we have a table that they gave us. They had this really horrifying vinyl all over it, so we took it off and it revealed this really pretty table. So we've got some fresh avocados. This is our big fruit bowl that we got for $4. And of course, Bang Bang Bakery makes the best bread in town. This is our favorite ciabatta. It's $2.50 for a loaf. Actually, it might be three fifties or three dollars. Sorry. Anyway, we're having our housewarming party today, so as you can see, our fridge is fully stocked with refreshments for guests. We found a couple um, local IPAs. Of course, we got a couple Coronas. Tons of soda water for rehydration. Four different types of wine and Cambodia. This is our favorite local beer. But we just want to make sure that our guests have plenty to eat. So. And then these are farm fresh eggs. There's a place right across the street called Happy & Co. It's an organic produce. All right, this is the first porch. It's a small porch. We don't really come out here too often except to do laundry. So this is a super legit laundry machine. Basically wash, rinse, spin. Yep, I managed to find some organic um, laundry detergent. We found this at Sakura as well, this cute little candle holder, which I love. 
This is the first bathroom, which we actually use this one because the other bathroom has a bathtub and we just kind of like coming in this open shower. So, you know, has the typical mirror. And then up here we got towels. Now, word of the wise, if you buy towels from Old Market that are really colorful like this, do not put them in with your other clothes because it's going to dye everything. So we knew better than to do that, but we did wash it with some other linens, which quickly turned yellow. But we got these at um, Anker Market, and these are really fantastic towels. So probably about $4 a towel. These hand towels usually run like a dollar or two. We got our mop bucket at the old market as well. Definitely, you definitely need a mop bucket if you are going to be moving to Sam Reap. Okay, so this is what a typical shower looks like in Sam Reap. Um, as you can see, you have the temperature dial here. Super pretty, simple to figure out. And then this is the on off button. And then usually they'll have the head here. And then there's this other faucet I use here to run into the mop bucket or wash my feet. And then I love these open windows. It's so nice. We keep our soap up here. All right, let's take a peek into the guest room. Now the bedding, please don't mind the bedding. We still haven't swapped this out. So this is the old bedding. It's kind of funky. Um, there's a lot of really funky bedding in Cambodia. Has a little window leading out to the porch. This is basically Blair's boy's room now. Like this is his little manhole. So <laughs> here's a lot of his scrap wood. But this is pretty much what he uses as his closet. I think he felt like I just took over the main bedroom closet, which I guess I probably did. But this is his man desk. No, I'm just kidding, it's just a desk. But he built this desk um, probably the second week we were in here. It's super sleek, I love it. What a great job he did. And he custom fit it to fit right here in the corners. <clears throat> this might look like a lot of money, but it's probably like $2. All right, so let's move on to the master bedroom. This is the master bedroom bathroom. Um, this is the bathroom that we use to kind of brush our teeth and keep our toothbrushes in. Again, another ceramic mug from Sakura. Got our B12 here, hair care products. <sighs> Um, and then this room actually has a legit beautiful bathtub, which is a feature that I haven't used yet. I mean, come on, it's so hot here in Cambodia that, but I might try taking a Wim Hof bath and fill it with ice and just like, you know, get my Wim Hof on. So again, we have our towels. Oh, this is one of the towels that was dyed yellow by those other cheap towels. <laughs> So you gotta be careful about that. All right, master bedroom, let's check it out. It's nice and spacious. I love the huge windows because as you can see, it gets tons of sunlight. Look at this. So the beds here, I believe these are queen size. Um, they just feel so huge. Like sometimes I'll be way over here and then Blair's like way on the other side and I'm like, what the heck, where are you? But this is the other set of lights that we got from Sakura. Aren't they so cute? They're just really simple and, you know, just add a, add some character. I have my perfumes up here on this shelf, business cards, and there's a nice little nightstand there. But you can see this looks right outside onto Street 26. So as you can see, there are no screens here. It goes directly outside. So promptly, oh, and here's another set of doors, but promptly, you guys, promptly at 5.45, we close the windows because that's when the mosquitoes start coming in. All right, guys, let's take a look at the best feature of the house. Bum, bum, bum. This is our patio. This is our beautiful porch. Look at this. This is the main selling reason why we wanted this apartment. So look at all this beautiful space. We, we've already gotten some plants from down the way. There's a guy who has a truck a couple streets over. So we got this beautiful yellow blooming flower. Let's see if I can. It's so pretty. It, it comes out with like a new little blossom every day. I love it. And of course, I've always loved this plant. We got a tree to place in our corner here. And of course, no porch is complete without a hammock. So this hammock runs from here to here. And we have our Cambodian flag flying here. And then this porch does not end, it just keeps going, check this out. So there's another little portion over here. When we do laundry, we hang it from these lines here. But tonight, because we're gonna be entertaining, I put chairs out here so we can all watch the sunset at 5.30. But look at this view. Ooh. 
We love trying to catch the sunset every single day and coming out here at about 5.30, 5.45, the sun sets over there and then it rises over there. So we get the sunrise and sunset and then it expands all the way over here. This is a little school, this little area. And then right down here, that cute little pink restaurant is called Bread and Bubble. It's a little Vietnamese sandwich shop, which we love. And then right down the way where that sign is, there's a place called Happy Co, which is where all the organic vegetables and fruits are, and I love it. They also sell organic rice. There's a little Belgian restaurant there, which we have yet to try. And then extending right over there, it's about an eight minute walk to the river. So, and the river is really close to the center of town. So, here's one of our little cactuses that we bought. Got some candles out here ready to rock tonight. I'm just so excited to have friends over to see our place because as I mentioned, it's been a long time coming and I couldn't be more happier. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me in our full blown house tour. If any of you would like to visit, we do have that spare guest room and Blair will gladly clear out any of his man cave stuff. So um, yeah, if you like this video, please give a like, subscribe, and please don't hesitate to reach out and let us know if you have any questions surrounding your potential move to Cambodia. All right, cheers, bye.